previous AWS, we used physical LTO tapes to do backups and shipped them off-site uh, a few times a month to an archival service. Obviously, when the business wanted to do a restore from outside of our local backup window, we'd have to recall those tapes, wait for them to be delivered, perform the restore. Once the restore was done, send the tapes back off-site again. We back up, uh, obviously, daily, and then we can only store so many copies of our backup locally. Uh, and then once a, a, a period of time has passed, it needs to be archived so that it can be retrieved at a, at a later date. The reason we moved to AWS was the unreliability of uh, physical tape. I'd say over the past five or six years that I've been in Ryanair, we do not hundreds of restores, but tens of restores a month. Probably four of those restores have failed and that wasn't acceptable to management. We sat down and discussed what our options were going to be going forward to have more reliable restores. We already have this relationship with AWS. You provide a tape gateway. Let's do some tests and see how it worked. Slowly start phasing out old physical tapes, destroying them as the years go by and then retiring old hardware and eventually just be all virtual and up in the cloud. The major benefit for us straight off was the reliability. That was the number one reason I was told to move to AWS and Virtual Tape Library was to no longer have that um, worry about the restore not working when we wanted to do the restore. It's about 65% cheaper now storing the data up in AWS and then all the other little bonuses you get like no, no, no more tape maintenance, no more running up and down the stairs, no more dealing with you know libraries and purchase orders and all that kind of stuff. We already have a relationship with AWS where the billing is done completely separately by another, another department so all I do now literally is go into the console and add in tapes and eject tapes when I'm done. It's made my job a lot easier. <laughs>